My name is Andrea Wendell. I am a multidisciplinary artist. I have a background in drawing and painting, and I work in wood and steel, creating sculptural furniture for um, interior designers, architects, uh, and a private clientele. And I also create pieces that are for galleries. And I am here with my mentee, Charlie. Hi, I'm Charlie Fishman. I'm a sophomore at Glowing Springs High School, and I've always loved doing art. It's just always been a part of my life. And I decided to apply for this mentorship because I really just wanted to expand my knowledge and be able to do art with someone that can teach me how to make it better. And yeah. Excellent. Well, this program is wonderful. And what it does is it pairs um, young aspiring artists like Charlie with experienced local artists. And they work, we work together for five months, which culminates in this show at the Art Base in Basalt. And we work together to create um, pieces that they want to explore parts of them that they want to explore, and it's for problem solving and learning communication. So Charlie and I met weekly at my studio, and most of our time was spent in discussion about her project, and she had homework to do. She did um, a lot of research <laughs> and some planning, and what we tried to do is get more specific each time on her project. So, Charlie, talk about the stages that you had with your project. Okay, so I came into the whole program not really having an idea of what I wanted to do. I just knew that I always have had an interest in architecture and interior design. That's kind of what I want to do once I get out of high school. So I knew coming in I wanted to base it on that. And obviously, you're so good and amazing with all those things. So I was very excited about that. So I had originally come in with um, a couple sketches of things I wanted to do, none of which are my final project, but you know, that's what happens. That's how art is, so it's okay. But we definitely started just sketching up ideas, brainstorming different things that I wanted to do, and then I was sent home to do homework <laughs> and kind of just do more research on different architecture forms and things that I wanted to do. And I ended up coming up with Art Deco, which is what my project is based on. Good. Well, see, every mentee is different. And for Charlie, we share a lot of the same interests, especially working with our hands. And yeah. Charlie <clears throat> does um, jewelry making and stained glass and has done wood with her wood projects with your dad. And so yeah. she, you have this interest in architecture and design and craft. <laughs> And so what I love about you is that you have the most incredible enthusiasm for art in, in a vast array. So I think what I wanted to do with you is to just narrow down your focus a little bit so that we should start there and try to find your voice in all of the things that you love to do. <laughs> so why don't you talk a little bit about how this project evolved and this installation and the material choice and your concepts. <laughs> okay, so originally I had come into the project definitely wanting to do something with wood. I had some ideas of doing bookshelves or some type of cityscape array, but things just didn't exactly go the original route, which is fine. And so I ended up coming up with doing this idea of art deco and looking up different buildings and designs of straight edges and zigzags and different shapes that are really simple, but they all kind of go together with these vibrant colors that you see and cool tones like metal and different stones and stuff like that. And then I had put together this collage of a whole bunch of different buildings that had to do with Art Deco. And I had my little sketchbook that I've been carrying around with me since the program started, you know, collecting ideas. And I drew out different shapes that I had taken from multiple different buildings and put together. And we picked out my favorite ones and we decided that those are what we were gonna make with my forms. And I definitely wanted to make sure the material I used was repurposed because 
I think that's really important. And so all of the wood that we used is all just recycled that we found in random things that we we're like, oh, I love the shape of that. And especially these white piping pieces are just like edges that we took. And I love the shape of them. But they're very Art Deco-y. And so then I put together a color scheme and we cut all of our shapes out and put it all together. And yeah, that's my piece. <laughs> oh, it turned out great. <clears throat> I think <clears throat> the strength in this piece really lies in the project as a whole. And I love how you identified really strong forms from this modern Art Deco period. And what I really like about it is that you have an incredible color sense as well. And it brought everything together, but it also speaks to the modern Art Deco period, but it also is your aesthetic. So that was all brought into play through, through choosing this direction to go into. And combining it with your, your flower work and the stones and the craft that you love to do, I think that you really did a very successful installation based on pulling it all together with all of your interests. Yes, thank so, you. So, awesome job. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> anyway, what's your biggest takeaway from the program? Oh, okay. Probably my biggest takeaway is that mistakes are bound to happen, which is very cheesy, but it's totally true, especially with art. Art is just one of those things that, you know, mistakes sometimes make it so much better. I definitely had a full idea of what I wanted to do before this came and I had started it and everything. And we had gotten halfway through to when the due date was and we realized that what I had wasn't, it just didn't quite fit the space and it wasn't exactly what I wanted it to be. And so we had to kind of brainstorm and start from scratch. And that was super hard and I was really stressed out about it. But now I like look back and I totally realize that that was like necessary. And it's something that just happens, you know? It's just something that you need to deal with and go with the flow. There's always the thing about having this grandiose oh, yeah. idea. And then you go, oh, I don't have two years to plan oh, yeah, for that. Exactly, exactly. And I'm like very all over the place. You know, I love doing so yeah. much to do with art. And so I had this big idea and it just like what didn't, you know, just wasn't going to happen. And so I learned that I just needed to like dial it down a little bit. And I came out with a piece that I really, really love. And it has to do everything that I wanted to come into the program with woodwork and architecture and interior design. And it takes all those things that I love and it puts them together. And I think it all worked out. And I'm really happy yes. about that. You did a great job. I feel like, you know, the challenge of, of, of dialing it down was really oh, yeah. a great <laughs> experience because I just love that you love everything. And this just came out great. And I'm really proud of you. So oh, you. for me, my best time is that I get to meet Charlie. And you're very special. <laughs> and I loved working with you. And I'm so excited for your future. And um, I just think this is a fantastic program that pairs um, artists together. And I think that it's a great exploration for anybody who's interested in art. And I hope that everyone gets to visit the gallery and see the Mentees exhibition. And it's up until May 20th.